Good morning, everyone. Today we'll be reading the book, If You Give a Moose a Muffin by Laura Numeroff. If you give a moose a muffin, it's gonna happen. He'll want some jam to go with it. So you'll bring him we will bring out some of your mother's homemade blackberry jam. When he's finished eating the muffin, he'll want another. And another. And another. He's going to get a bellyache. <laughs> when they're all gone, he'll ask you to make more. Oh my gosh. You'll have to go to the store to get some muffin mix. He'll want to go with you. When he opens the door and feels how chilly it is, he'll ask to borrow, to borrow a sweater. When he puts the sweater on, he'll notice one of the buttons is loose. He'll ask for a needle and thread. He'll start sewing. The button will remind him of the puppets his grandmother used to make. So, he'll ask for some old socks. He'll make sock puppets. When they're done, he'll want to go put on a puppet show. That looks like fun. He'll need some cardboard and paints. Then, he'll ask you to help make the scenery. What kind of scenery are they going to do? Looks like they're making some clouds. When the scenery is finished, he'll get behind the couch, but his antlers will stick out. So he'll ask for something to cover them up. You'll bring him a sheet from your bed. When he sees the sheet, he'll remember he wants to be a ghost for Halloween. He'll try it on and shout, boo! It'll scare him so much, he'll knock over the paint. So, he'll use the, the sheet to clean up the mess. Then, he'll ask for some soap to wash it out. He'll probably want to hang the sheet up to dry. Then he'll go outside to put a to put it on the clothesline. When he's out in the yard, he'll see your mother's blackberry bushes. Seeing the blackberries will remind him of her jam. He'll probably ask you for some. And chances are, if you give him the jam, what's he gonna ask for? He'll want a muffin to go with it. Yay. Maybe we should make some muffins. Maybe. <laughs>